Okay guys, so I'm sure at some point some of you will come up with a much more detailed uh, guide to all of this than me, uh, but for my viewers, here's what I've been able to play around with the first uh, you know, hour or two I've been playing the game. So uh, this is the game at running at 1440p, I have a 2070, and this is what it looks like at medium preset without, uh, without any DLSS or anything. And I am able, at least in this area, to be right around 60 frames per second. Uh, so can a 2070 do 1440p at medium settings? Sure. But um, I'm personally using DLSS to get a much better setting. But I want to help you guys learn more than just what I personally did. So I'm going to run you through my process of figuring out what to use. And then I'll help you guys apply the same ideas to figure out where your settings should be. So like what I did is, you know, I started out with medium, I took a look around, saw what it looked like, saw my performance, saw it was 60, and then I went back to settings. And you know what I love about this game that not every game has? You can adjust the settings on the fly. Like I could switch to low here and just pop back out into the game and notice my performance got better. Other games might require you to restart. Now I like this, 75 feels a lot better to me than even the slightly under 60 did. So I like this a lot. Now again, this is not the most demanding section of the game. So as you get to other sections of the game, you might find that you want to tweak your settings further uh, than when you first start out, right? But this feels good to me. This feels really, really good. But that's low settings. Now I will say that low settings still actually look better than a lot of other games at medium, high, or even ultra. So this game does look pretty good. The lighting looks pretty good. Uh, even at the lowest settings. Now, let's see that the lowest setting, now, now okay, I'll, I'll start out with what I did. So I went up to high to see what high looked like. I was like, okay, because medium, I was struggling. Okay, this is in the 40s. I think if I played using a controller, I'd find this acceptable. Now remember with a controller, you're not moving as fast as you do with the mouse. So it's not gonna be as jerky as this, right? So one trick you could use if you're getting lower frame rates than you'd like is to use a controller where things will feel smoother. But I thought, since I have a RTX card, I can use DLSS, which lowers the internal resolution of the game. Now the settings for DLSS, now again, you can only do this if you have an NVIDIA RTX, so that's a 20 or 30 series card. Um, now it has auto where it will choose the internal resolution to use, or you can do quality where it uses the a not as high as your native resolution, but higher than if you dropped it down to balance, that's gonna lower the internal resolution even lower and performance is even lower, ultra performance is even lower. Now, quality will look the best, but, and see, it does actually get my performance up over 70, at least in this area. But I found that in more demanding areas, uh, it dropped a bit more. So where I've actually been playing the game is I dropped this down a bit, I dropped it down to balanced, and that's actually where I've been pretty happy. It's kept me mostly in the 70s or 80s through most of the stuff I've been playing. And honestly, visually, it looks almost identical to um, almost identical to uh, the native resolution. Now you will notice some few little jaggies pop up sometimes on straight lines. I've noticed my reflection in, in the mirror at the beginning of the game was noticeably at a lower resolution. So there are some downgrades to visual quality when you use DLSS. But honestly, like looking around here, I'm hard pressed to notice any difference with this compared to native. Let me switch back to na native. So if we switch back to turning DLSS off, notice my frame rate is much, much, much lower. But if we actually look around here, and I know on YouTube, your recording that you're watching here is compressed, so you don't see everything as clearly as I do. But I can really barely notice any difference. Now there are certain areas and settings in the game where it will be more noticeable. But for me, this choppy feeling here versus just switching on that DLSS setting uh, over to balanced, I mean, looks fantastic and my performance jumps like 30 or 35 frames per second or something crazy like that. Now I realize that not everybody has the ability to use DLSS. You might have an AMD card or, or a older uh, NVIDIA card. So how do you adjust if you don't have this slider? Okay, so if this thing is off. Well, one option here is this kind of does a similar thing where it lowers the internal resolution of the game uh, and then it will upscale it and sharp it sharpen it. It doesn't use AI to do that. The DLSS is using an AI algorithm and it does a nicer job than this does. Um, but 
Uh, you can play around with the maximum resolution. You can t give it a frame rate target, right? Like maybe you want to target, uh, you know, 60 frames per second. And you can back out here and see what happens. So it's targeting 60 frames per second, but wait, it didn't do much. So what, what do we have to do here? Well, in addition to having that f target frame rate, you can also have the minimum resolution. The minimum resolution is a percentage of your maximum, right? So 100 is 100% is of the native resolution. I can lower this to like half the native resolution. Now notice you should see that my image just got instantly blurrier, okay? Now I'm not now by setting the minimum to 50, it's not automatically lowering it to 50. It's saying that that's the lowest I will allow it to go to attempt to hit a 60 frames per second average. So this is basically a dynamic res resolution scaling. So it's going to lower your internal resolution of the game as needed to try to lock your frame rate target that you selected. Okay, so that's something that you could play around with. And that's probably going to be better than doing the old version of this, which is literally just turning down the internal resolution of the game, right? Like running the game at, you know, like, uh, what would this even be? Is, is, is that 720p? Okay. Uh, so like this looks, I mean, just awful, but notice my frame rate's better, right? But compared to what we, we did see, and I realized, oh wait, I realized that for you guys, it's actually just even making it small in my, uh, in my capture screen there. So that's not, gonna, that's not gonna really demonstrate what it looked like on my screen very well <laughs> due to other issues. Oh well. Anyway, the point is, let's switch it back to my native resolution. All right, so imagine when that shrunk down to that little window the way it captured it, that that was blown up and looked blurry as it, as it went around. All right guys, so that's what you can play with if you don't have DLSS to drop things. But the other thing that you can play around with is, of course, the presets and the other settings. But I did want to explain how this works. I don't think everybody understands how that works, OK? Now, I'm going to turn that off. Um, so the other way to do it, other than playing around with those types of things, or I'm not sure if every card supports these, to be honest. Um, so if your card, I know most cards don't support DLSS. You need the 20 series or better NVIDIA. I'm not sure about these ones. If your card doesn't support that or you want to try other things, again, I'd recommend you playing around with your presets. If you know you're on an older card, guys, you might want to just start with the low preset and just see if you get anywhere, right? So like my card can get me about, you know, over 70 frames per second at 1440p with this. Um, but again, a lot of cards are weaker than a 2070, right? You know what I mean? So if your low preset isn't getting you what you need, then that's where you could, you know, like I said, lower, try, try turning this on if it's available to you. You could lower the resolution lower than your native, and it's going to look stretched and blurry. But it might be the only way that you can get the game up and running. And then if that's not doing it for you, you might even check uh, if there's like a low spec gamer video or article or something. I I'm not really into that, but I've heard of it uh, to see if people have other tweaks available to you. Now, in terms of things to, to do, like what I would usually do is, is recommend trying out the different presets like I showed you. Finding one that's at least close to the performance target you were looking at. So like if I'm at medium, uh, again, I'm pretty close to 60, but I'm not at a locked 60. So if you wanted to maybe then think, okay, so what should I tweak to lower it even more, right? What, what can I do to lower it even more from here? That's where you can get into these details. Now, certain things here are going to have a larger impact on performance than others. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't had this game long enough to fully test out every single one of them. But I can tell you some of the usual culprits, and we can try them out. So ambient occlusion is usually a big one. But this, this preset's already set it to low. But if you were at like one of the higher presets, dropping this one down to low, or if you have to off, could give you better performance. Like notice, you can actually see my, my frame rate is better here by, what was that, like about four or five maybe, maybe frames per second? It's getting me above 60. Remember, with, with that turned on low, I was actually dropping below 60 in this area. And now I'm staying at or above 60 by turning ambient occlusion off. But notice the shadows and things actually look a lot worse with that off compared to low. Let's switch it back to low. So on low, um, well, I thought I was dropping below 60. <laughs> Am I not really dropping? Yeah, well, there, there it goes. Like over here, I dropped briefly below 60, but not much. So it doesn't have that big of an effect. But um, it does affect the shadow quality quite a bit. So that, that's a setting that you know you can play around with. Like if ambient occlusion is up at like 
uh, high, I'm guessing we're going to see more of a performance hit here. Right? So here, notice that I'm definitely in the 50s, not the 60s. Okay? So ambient occlusion is one of those settings where just it's one option in your, med in, in your menu here that will have a big effect. So that's one of the ones that you can play around with quite a bit. Another one that um, I've been hearing people say has a big effect is this cascade shadows stuff, right? So shadows cast by the sun. Now, I'm not in a particularly sunny area, but I, I have to test that out. But you could try turning these to low if you haven't yet, because I've heard that cascaded shadows has had a big effect for some people. Anyway, uh, so that's a big one. Another one that can have a big effect in certain areas would be like volumetric fog and things like that if you're in an area that has volumetric clouds and shadows. Uh, you can also turn down, um, uh, turn down some other things like reflections can be a big one. So like, and you can turn down screen space reflections tends to be uh, another big performance thing. Let's see if we get any better performance by turning that off. Hey, look at that. I'm up here in the high 60s with the reflections turned off. But again, then you're missing reflections. The reflections look pretty good in this game. So this is where you've got to start making some of your own decisions on what looks best. And in addition to turning these things down, you can also try turning them up, right? So if, if your preset Right, if your preset at like medium or, or or whatever gives you actually a little more performance than you wanted, that's where you could try turning some things up until you get to a point where you uh, you don't like your performance anymore. And this is going to be different for everybody. Nobody can tell you exactly what the best settings are for your system, because your CPU, your RAM, your graphics card, the temps you're running at, blah blah blah, programs you have running in the background, all matter and they all affect this. So play around with these, but like I said, I found that ambient occlusion, the cascaded shadows in certain areas, and reflections and things like that have a pretty big impact. All right, guys, I'm going to switch this back to where I normally play. So I usually play at the high preset with my DLSS saving my life here on my frame rate. And uh, I'm going to get a little uh, gaming in here on, on the rest of my lunch break. Remember, I'm, a, I'm just a teacher here doing these on my lunch break, guys. I hope you guys have an excellent day. My old friend Not happy to see you here again It feels like it's been a while Since a game ran like a pile On my RTX Guess I'll see what I can do in the settings. Okay, that's enough of that, and I don't even know why that recorded very well.